any illness at all in the semi-finals. Really, really strong all the weekend. Qualified with three tops in five attempts. So, yep, one of the three girls to get three tops. The last Boulder World Cup, I know it's hard to believe, seems like a lifetime ago. So this is actually a second final in a row for David, but um, just as an interesting aside, I'll, we'll focus on Shauna for a second before we go to my interesting aside. Heading up for the bonus here. That's great work from Shauna so far onto the bonus, and now it's all aboard the struggle bus on top of this volume. It's no holds up there, it's just pure friction and pure pain, I believe, for the finish, and the finish hold is upside down. So I'm about on, five metres away from uh, Shauna, right underneath women's one. It looks an absolutely brutal move, that pinch with the right hand on top of that volume is almost non-existent. But Shauna's made very relatively light work and she gives the volume a pass as well she might i'm not quite sure what she was pulling on there but uh, she's the first person to get anywhere near this boulder and i suspect the top beckons but standing right underneath it it's amazing how her looks it might look on the on the live stream from directly behind her that it's quite a solid stance but it's a very difficult move still to i wonder if she's going to try and reach the top hold I wonder if she's going to try and reach the top from where she is with her feet. Yeah, that's right, Charlie. Just uh, she pulls up to the finish hold now. She's on board. Finish it off. She's on a cock. This is a perfect start to the competition. Crowd goes absolutely wild. Nice job, Martin. Nice job for the route setters. Pressure's off. We've seen her first top. I don't know if you guys picked that up. On the I mean, she had a few close calls where she nearly claimed the overall title in the bowl and she finally got over the line last year and it just seems like it's really relaxed her. She, she just looks as if she walks out expecting to get to the top of the boulder and hey four minutes is plenty of time she doesn't take her time she gets ready pulls on and what do you know she seems to be topping everything right now yeah come on Shauna's looking really good here once again so solid on this second boulder come on Shauna finish it off come on Shauna this is so tenuous but she's looking really solid now come on Shauna one hand on, she's got to get two. Looks happy up there, Shauna Coxie. Maintains the lead, the first climber with two tops. Fantastic work from Shauna and the perfect start to the competition season here for Shauna Coxie, once again, dominating. Thanks for your questions on the Twitter, using the hashtag IFCWC. Great question here from My Outdoors. If, if many of these years athletes will be able to make the transition into the Olympics, uh, we talked about that earlier in the semi-finals and uh, someone like Yanya Gabra who we just saw. And I'm going to come back to that question in just a minute, just as we see David Fehrenberg fire off because Shauna Coxie is established once again. Oh, nicely done. Skips past the bonus, doesn't need it. Can she finish it off in style here? Shauna Coxie on her second attempt. Oh, so strong on the lock-off. No problems at all. Smile on the face. Ladies and gentlemen, Shauna Coxie, three tops in five attempts. So Shauna won here last year. She obviously likes it here in Switzerland. She wins once again. Back-to-back -back victories for Shauna Coxie. Number one seems to be pretty much the only position Shauna knows. Watching Shauna down here, she, she actually fluffed the, the move right initially and almost stuck it despite slipping midway through it. It's So Shauna with one minute 40 just under left. There was a big shout from David there as he came down. So try telling him that this is a dead rubber. He really wants his top. He was, looked distinctly oh. unhappy when he came down. Just interrupting there, Charlie. Shauna Coxie draws a line onto this competition in absolutely amazing fashion. The first top we've seen in women's four. Absolutely nailed it. One minute to go. Let's go of the, of, uh, the climb, or let's proper go. The sun is still uh, on the wall, by the way. You can probably make out the shadow of Shauna's ponytail, but you can see how hard this move is. It's not, not a gimme. It's there. She's in it so good, though. See how bad the hold is. It was close. And it's the same again. And she will give up on that. Yeah, she will give up on that. On the bonuses, so... One attempt on the bonus. One attempt on the bonus. If it sounds 
a little over the top I can assure you it's not so Tamoa lining it up great style on the jump this guy <laughs> is flying as I said he's from the matrix <laughs> this guy is just from the matrix I wonder what he will he will do in this move easy job he will just go for it there we go flash from Tamoa so it's him and Alexa at this early stage Sean and meanwhile you know, Alexi uh, told me the other day that he's fighting with Japanese, but it's not fair because he's one and there are many. And uh, yeah, like last time he was second after Kokoro and now we have Tomoa and so <laughs> it's hard. He seems to find a way there, doesn't he? As does this lady, Shona Coxie. She's looking to do his bowler as well. She needs to do his bowler as well. And again, a bit like um, Akio, looks quite comfortable in this position. She's shorter though, it's, it's a bit further for her than it was for Akio. She looks in a good position and latches it. There really. we go, one hand, two hands. Really precise right there. Uh, it's good for her. We'll put her in a podium position uh, as for now at least. Yeah, we'll be two boulders down after uh, Yanni Gambrett comes out. And of course, John Won Chan on the men's. You can see there, Sean got three fingers, just about held it. And once she controlled the swing, it never. I wonder if tomorrow will dine to the last hole. Bye. Yeah. From um, once you get your foot established on that red and black volume in this men's boulder it looks as if you could just jump for the for the bonus but it's such a poor foothold that as soon as you're committed to jump you just slip off and also the bonus is quite a poor hole it's not a hole you just want to jump to but Tomoe can make things work in his way this is both as he's making solid progress Tomoe just slips right there as I said before the holes are getting greasier and greasier so it's harder and harder to step on uh, it's a big problem of, of, of the climbing competition. And Shauna with the right hand onto the volume that time. Latches it. Shauna searching to make uh, her second top as well here. She's looking pretty calm so far. Ditto to Moa. Great way of starting that boulder. Visually, for sure, <laughs> I'm not sure it, if it's uh, if it's the best way to do it. No problem for Shona. Shona got uh, four tries to do this boulder in the case that uh, Yanya would not do it. Here we go, Sean Cotty, account of attempts crucial. She takes it with ease. So elegant, so effortless. She's levitated. Yes, yeah, she's, she's um, different, but has some similarities to James Kidham, as in it just looks quite easy when Sean climbs. It does. So Tomoa is going for the bonus. And Shauna Cox is going for the lead. You see her lining it up. And Le Shauna gets it. She gets it. Nice one. Pressure is on Yanni Garnbrett. So Shauna Cox, as I mentioned, used to climbing at last in the final out third today, but she's the first climber who's really made a dent in women's one. Now, this is really interesting because you and I were discussing this when we were down on the mats. Will Lee just use the bonus hole to stop the swing and then drop back down? Because that's so far what Sean is trying yeah. to do. But it looks a long way from this pink hole to the top. What? It's really hard to tell when you're She's not... She's got it, though. Yeah, when you're not on the, on the boulder, it's really hard to tell how far it is. It actually, now, yeah. she, now she's there, it looks closer than it, it looked from the mats. Yeah, definitely. But that last screw on doesn't look very good. Oh, but she's got it. It's good enough. Nice. Top from Shauna Coxie. 
And that was definitely three seconds that she held it for. Definitely showed control there. Let's have another look at the jumps. It's right hand, left hand, right again. And then she dropped back. So she only really used the bonus to control the swing at the bonus. So Shauna Coxey and Nay Kruder out on the mats. Yeah, Nay, as we've seen with uh, Ray and Tamawa, relatively easy work of the lower moves. And Shauna Cox, you can see her on the right of the screen, they've also got that first move dialed. Yeah, Nay, pinching the right hand side of that volume, also choosing to pinch and using the left elbow, getting a bit more purchase from that elbow than it might originally look, and it pays off. And that's what he thinks about it. Fantastic from Yene Kruder. Top from him. <laughs> Shauna Coxie, meanwhile, will concentrate on her. He's moves through the two, the two green blobs. And now she'll see the top hole. It's just half a meter behind the back of her head, but she's wily enough and experienced enough not to just make a lunge for it. It's, it's barely a hold at all. It's more an arbitrary point where the boulder finishes. Shauna just figuring it out here. Yeah, she has plenty of time, so I hope she I hope she can do it. She eyes it up, she's got the technique right. Come on, Shauna. You can see a great angle that. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, getting right under it now. This is a oh. great finish from the root setters. Yeah! <laughs> nice. That looked hard. Yeah. Shauna enjoyed that. It's a pretty friendly environment in finals. I was really happy to find that last week. Let's have another look at Shauna's top. We barely got to see it. We were focusing on Yone. We could just see it in the back of the shot. And yeah, once she got to the bonus hold. Nice. Just walk the rest of it. Yeah. And once again, cleverly. Check. Oh. Oh, yeah sort of fumbling around with the feet there and uh, just dropped off. So Shauna back on. You can see the effort showing. This one counts in the past. Oof. We've seen her come out for final boulders with the win already in the bag. Not the case this time. Yeah. There we go. She secured that hold. Looking very calm and collected all of a sudden. Oh. Oh, no figure of four necessary. No she can just, just hold that lock off. The one arm lock off and just rotates around. I think you can see from the look on her face that it took a lot of effort, but she got the job done, and I think she's about to get the job done here as well. Yes. Come on, Shauna. Shauna Coxie for the win. Oh. Slowly but surely. Yeah. And she wins. Shauna Coxie will make it two wins and one second place in the first three World Cups of 2017. No. Potentially quite a serious injury, but temporarily at least, she'll be able to fight through it. So Shauna's out, qualified fifth, had to top the fourth boulder in the semi-final and did so under, under a bit of pressure and duly delivered. Every now and then you think she might just be human. <laughs> And then and she then, proves you wrong. And then she proves you <laughs> wrong, yeah. She doesn't give much of a chink of light to her, uh, her competitors. No. She's in a very comfortable position on this women's one. Petra Klingler just flashed it. I'm sure Sean was aware of that when Petra strolled back into isolation after a minute or so. And this looks promising. So these black holes are the ones you were talking about with the uh, dual texture. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see that one side of each of the holes is a bit shiny. And, uh, yeah, those are the portions that are... Uh, have no texture. Heading to the left, gonna be two. Nice. Two flashes, two climbers, two flashes. Nothing to separate Shauna and Petra at this stage. Got the bonus on her um, first attempt. Now she just needs the top. 
bonus hold is the uh, the hold on the left that the climbers push off in order to get that second to last volume. You can't quite see the tape. Hopefully, as our crane comes round to the left, you'll see it. Hopefully, you can just see that circle. Bonus hold is this that one. one. Yeah. If you're watching boulder for the first time, midway up each boulder, you have a bonus hold. Clearly marked with a gold circle that says bonus and a piece of tape denoting which hold they're referring to. So let's see. Shauna, this time the move falls marginal. She's not quite on the hold just yet. And again, just gets a tiny bit of use out of the bottom part of the volume. but mostly just standing on that foot there. Well, she's only got 15 seconds left. She can't hesitate again. She's got to go for it. She goes oh for no. it. And she will not top the boulder. Oh. Five seconds left. It won't be enough for any sort of attempt. And she's off. So from a boulder, everybody flashed to, to a last move. That's to, <laughs> to a last move that everybody is struggling with. As I say, Shauna got the bonus first attempt. As did uh, or trying to figure out all these different methods of doing them, doing the jumps, doing the moves, because she knows she's a fair bit shorter. It was, uh, it was really interesting to watch. Oh, Shauna touching that hold now on the volume. Yeah, I think she, she got a hand to it the previous attempt, and, but it, it doesn't look anywhere near a, a hand good enough to hold you. Not quite. She, she's getting close. I mean, a bit Petra looked as if perhaps she uh, wasn't making progress with each attempt. Shauna looks as if she's getting closer and closer. Mm -hmm. Really likes this facing out method. And the volume she's going for, again, it, it's not great. I'm surprised that she likes the facing out so much because you've got to get hold of what is not a great volume and oh. simultaneously turn on it. One minute left. You might have heard the beat through our mic. Sean is just eyeing it up. It's great. You can see the cogs turning, and that was close, and the crowd knew it. We had a, a cheer from the crowd. She's burning through the attempts here, Shauna, but she's probably figured out that having not topped uh, Boulder 2, and the fact that this women's three is so desperate, the top would have come in very handy. Mm -hmm. 20 seconds to go, she doesn't fancy it. Heads in, will So Shauna in an unusual position here, down in for her, it's down in sixth place. So if Shauna takes, uh, Shauna can't win, I should say, I should add. We've only got two climbers on three tops, Shauna's only got the one, so the most she can get is two tops. If she takes three attempts here, even if she tops on her third attempt, it won't be enough for a podium. So, already on for a surprise result, just by the fact that Shauna won't be first or second. And I think sticking that bonus hold puts her into fifth place already. So top here in less than three attempts will put it at this very early stage into a podium position. Let's have a look. Making light work of the top section, but it's no pushover to the top. Nice and easy for Shauna. Static. Yeah, it did that very smoothly. Mm -hmm. I think she knows it's not been her best day. We'll wait for the scores update. We just confirmed the number of attempts then. I think that was a flash. I'm pretty sure it was. So powerful, have an easier time switching to speed climbing. You know, lead climbers a lot of time are like really precise and slow and methodical whereas boulders are like willing to do those dynamic moves and take risks and that's a lot more like speed climbing it's like a lot more relatable whereas uh lead climbers yeah just don't have that 
thought process a lot of times. Like, maybe not thought process, just don't have that method. So uh, I think I think boulders have an easier time with that. And I think oftentimes, too, speed climbers are better boulders than lead climbers. Yeah, we'll see. We'll keep an eye on Sean Coxie and Yoshiyuki. We've seen a few speed climbers that trying the bouldering and the Tiganova in Asia. I think she just had that with like one finger. Did you see that? Sean is just checking the time and she needs Ten to. Seconds. Ten seconds to go. Yoshiyuki tops. All the men top boulder one. Shauna reaches across. She's got five, four, three. Oh, no. And she does not get it. Yeah, just a little slippery. Like I said, yeah, it's just, it's it's hard. It's Those things are hard. And also, as we were saying, that start hold had a good side and a bad side. I, if somebody can speak to her in isolation, if she came out for the last boulder knowing she already won, I think she should wear the T-Rex costume. <laughs> I could see some officials getting a little <laughs> mad about that, <laughs> but it would be quite entertaining. Good question, Alexandra, but unfortunately, I think it's unlikely. I'm with you, hoping she does so. I wonder how hard it is to climb in one of those. It seems kind of restricted. Viewing doesn't, the view site doesn't seem that great. I'm sure it's not ideal. This was the method we thought it was going to be. We thought foot first when we were looking at this. So that's clearly what Shauna read as well. It's just it's a, not the most dignified <laughs> moment getting onto that volume, but now she's there, she looks well established. We saw Akia Noguchi almost sitting here. Oh, wow. Uh, we saw Yoshiyuki just tried to go Rose move that, that boulder. He went uh, left hand to the first hold and then right hand under, which is really not the beta, I think. But it seems actually like not a terrible mistake. It, the boulder w could easily read like that. Good idea. <laughs> so Shauna Coxie, last climber out onto women's two. Flash the bonus on boulder one. When we say flash, we mean got it first time. Climber speaks, we got it first time. Then she top women's two. She can. Good top. So that's, that's three tops on this boulder. We've got Akio. Akio. Setting himself at the top, keep an eye bottom right of your screen. Yeah. And there's Shauna. Shauna nails the jump, nailed big it. cheer from the crowd. Wow. And Yoshiyuki down. You've been paying attention to Shauna. Yeah. I, I, was, I was paying attention to Yoshiyuki. Yeah. Is this her first attempt? This was her first attempt, fantastic. and she is nailing it. That is fantastic. This will put her into first place. Yep. There we go, come on. Getting that foot, fantastic. I expect nothing less. That's two tops from Shauna in two attempts. Two tops, both of them flashes. Two minute 40 left on the clock, and she's already heading back. Let's have a look at the jump. Can't believe she stuck this first time. It's and a move you think you need to figure out. There you go, you can see that off the toe as well. She is exploding properly. Just hit the sweet spot. Rubs off, off the podium. Shauna Coxie, meanwhile, needs this in three attempts or less. Unmistakable, very static style. All right. Come on, Shauna, bring it on home. Shauna Coxie, this for the win. Bring it on home, Shauna. Setting it up. The DJ is just... Got some Chemical Brothers playing the tensions building and Shauna's looking at the top. Is she looking at a win? Back to the wall, she'll take her time. Very, very so, good idea. <laughs> so calm under pressure. But this is the moment for Shauna. She does not want to miss. If she does, then she's got one more attempt. That's it. She's lining it up. She's going for that white bolt on hold about a third of the way across. Come on, Shauna. The volume. And there it is. Sticks it. Shauna Coxie wins in Vail. As only Shauna Coxie can deliver. There we go. She didn't win here in Vail last year, but she did clinch the overall title. This year, it's the other way around. She takes a World Cup win. She'll have to wait a little longer if she'd like back-to-back -back World Cup. Oh, see the climbers are still in the order they qualified in, interestingly enough. We should see if that changes. It's Jong Won Chum. That's a new way to do it. Huh? Now you, now you goes also to the right.
Shauna's looked very smooth. Climbing here in Mumbai, exactly as she did in Vale. It's cool to see that uh, the girls uh, taking shock uh, sh their shock bags with them. The, the boys, they don't. That is the top for Jong Won Chon. So all six male climbers topping Boulder 1. Shauna, meanwhile, she's on women's one. It was flashed by Miho Nanaka. Shauna will need to get this first time if she wants to take the lead. It's looking promising at this stage. It's looking very promising. Nice. So last week's winners, Shauna Coxie and John Won Chon, walk out. Do exactly what was required. So nobody's actually uh, flashed this men's boulder too. Best, as I mentioned, was Ray Sugimoto, who got it on his second go. Shona, can she match Miho by holding this swing one-handed? Not quite. Remember, Miho did require five attempts to get this one ahead of Keita. Things could get very complicated in the men's rankings. We won't get too involved. The women's much simpler. This woman on screen right now is already the champion. <laughs> Shauna. She's very big on her mindset and process that it's all about the next bowler, the next move, the next competition. Don't think too far ahead, but... I do wonder if knowing she's already got the title sewn up has changed her mindset ever so slightly. You can see her there just seemingly not too worried about not, not nailing that move. No, she, re she looks really relaxed. She's got a minute left to figure this one out to claim the second top of women's two after Miho Nanaka did it. Oh, nice. Just holds it this time. She's got 50 seconds to go. She, go. she shows great arm strength. Come on. She's on to the crimps on the top section of the wall. Shauna Coxie, she's not given her rivals much of a sniff in the past two competitions. This will put her in such a commanding position. Launches, left hand lands. She just positions the right foot, checks with the judge. Very good job. Really nice work from Shauna. We'll confirm the number of attempts in just a second. That was also her fifth go, same as Miho. So she actually has the same score as Miho Nanaka right now and is leading on count. As the season's progressed, he's looked increasingly strong. So the time begins four minutes flat. Jong Won Chon, he currently sits in third place. If he can do this boulder in three attempts or less, he will move into the lead. He's already off the ground. We'll keep an eye on him. And then we really will have a showdown on the final boulder. Could be a three-way showdown for the win on that last boulder. There he is, Jong Won Chom, bottom right of your screen. And there was a pretty cool solution of Shauna Coxie doing a toe hook. Yeah, it was nicely done, and she's up to that pea, pea pod uh, hold. So let's see what Chong Won does now. Jong Won, he's lining it up. This to take it onto the final boulder and give us a three way shootout for the win. The left hand's there, and the right hand is there. We're set up for quite a finale in this men's final. Ditto the women's. Shauna Coxie currently in third place. Make that first place. No problem for either of them. There were two flashes.
Ah, very close. One minute 55 left for Shona and Jong Won. Neither of them needs to do any more. So Shona now needs to bump up a little bit higher with her hand to, to be able to put her foot onto the foothold. Ah. She only needed a bonus in not many attempts, but as I said, a top would absolutely cement it. This is Shonda Coxie just having fun now. Yeah. She already looked at the result list and knew that she, she had won. This will be career win number 11 for Shauna. Made it 10 in Vail. Just missed that small yellow hold. Ah. Chong Won Chon. He might have won the competition, but he's giving it everything. Lands flat on his back, heavy fall. Yeah, he, he fell while swinging back into the wall. Less than a minute to go, Shauna Coxey. Already won the competition, already won the overall. That's it! Yes. She's got it! <laughs> Just takes a second to compose herself. And now, is it a jump or a mental? She's just trying to figure it out. She's got 25 seconds, doesn't need to rush. She doesn't have her chalk bag with her. She can't chalk up. All she can do is try to figure out the move. Meanwhile, John Won Chon's also getting on well with men's four. It's all go. 10 seconds to go for both climbers. Are we about to see the most Come dramatic on. finale to a World Cup? Yes. John Won Chun does his bit. Sean has got two seconds to do hers. We'll let you know if she was awarded that. An amazing finish to this World Cup in Mumbai. What a climax. <laughs> Going to be the one to watch tonight. She should, should do well on these, these four boulders that she's up against. And Sean Coxie's already taken the overall uh, win this year for 2017. She's definitely the, the athlete to beat, as it were. And yeah, coming out in fifth place is giving us a really good early indicator as to this boulder. Of course, and she had an amazing season. Come on, Shauna. Just so you know, that was a flash of the bonus hole for Alex Puccio, but no top. Shauna on the wall, 3.25 left. This, of course, the venue where she picked up that shoulder injury last year. And as I said, she's not quite looked her dominant self, but she often saves her best for when it really matters. Exactly, now it counts. Now it's the final, and that's the move. Now it's Shauna's turn to line it up. Come on, Cameron Shana. in a perfect position to pick it up. The crowd getting right behind her. She'll go left hand, right nice. hand sticks it. Huge cheer from this Munich crowd, and Shauna Coxie gets it first time. She's got the heel hook. That might be a flash. Yes. She's got first the top. Time. Shauna Coxie representing Great Britain has the perfect start once again. It's not the first time we've said that. Shauna Coxie flashes the first boulder. What a perfect start, and it was the method that Alex Puccio used, but just stuck it. That's really impressive. I mean, Shauna can really make it when it counts, and that was a very, very incredible flash. This woman right here, she's already claimed her second overall for the World Cup title. She's already got one flash on the one bowl that she's attempted. What could she do on women's two? So we saw Alex Puccio basically not really moving out of the start position with too much success, but Shauna Coxie, as you said, Charlie, overall winner. If anybody can do this move, it's going to be Shauna at this stage and yeah, looking up for options. And it's quite interesting reading her face as she looked at the boulder, kind of had a bit of an old eye when she looked up at the first section and yeah, both exactly what we saw Alex Puccio just looking a bit confused at this stage in the in the boulder. Yes, the facial expression is similar but let's hope Shauna would do it. Come on. Um, I think Shauna has definitely always had the talent to climb up onto the top and that's where she is right now. I mean she claimed the second time the overall title this year and yeah that's impressive. 
shot of Coxie exactly the same as Alex Pucci did, having a really good look around. Looks like she's trying a completely different method. And yeah, she's <laughs> That's a great, great close up of Sean of space there. Oh, I wonder if yeah, I could we'll just uh, can see the cogs turning. You can see that she's definitely very flexible. And when we previewed these boulders, these are made as an intentional footholds for traversing across the top of the wall for the finish dug on the run. So with under a minute to go, Shauna Coxie found no joy at all here in the start of the women's second board. You can really see the expressions on her face is all negative at the moment. I mean, I, mean, I can feel her. It really looks as if it's really hard to get out of the, the corner. Now you can see she's, she's starting to make slight upward progression, but you know, realistically, she's really, really short on time here. But I think because she's so stretched across the groove, it's really hard to power off that back foot, for which she's so stretched. Come on. Shauna Coxie says it there, absolutely no idea. Yeah, she's calling it a day. Yeah, let's see if Shauna can actually so I'm sure Graham will correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, the climbers can actually uh, dig their fingers into the screw holes on these volumes. They can't use the T-nuts, but they can use the screw holes. And I think Shauna's started nicely there with her right hand. And just so you can see what, what is on offer for Shauna as a starting position there, that's not really a hold. No, definitely nothing to hold on to. It's just to get, it's all about your feet. This looks very relaxed, Shauna, when she came out, huge grin. There's nothing like sewing up your second overall title to relax you. Really, really difficult. Yeah, Shauna just struggling there. It's actually having a bit of a funny effect to the atmosphere here in Munich. Suddenly the quiet crowd just a bit quieter. They want to see someone get into the, the meat of this boulder. Yes, and of course you said that the crowd in Munich, they are climbers too, so they know what's going on. And they can see that they are struggling and this of course is hard, but they know once it counts, they'll be behind them. Yeah, absolutely. It's a good point you make. They, there's no fooling this crowd in Munich. There's no use to the MC saying, oh, this is fantastic. This is amazing action. They know what climbing is all about. And they can see Shauna Cox with 25 seconds to go, possibly going to get timed out before she can even go for the bonus. I wonder if she'll have a, another go. I suspect this might be a Boneless only if she does get it. No, doesn't like it at all. Heads in. 10 seconds to spare. Another frustrating start to a boulder problem here in Munich for the women's finals. Yes, and Shauna's out next. She knows that this problem can be top. Maybe she can show us another of her flashes. With Yanya Garnbrit, it's got two tops in six attempts. She can be caught by either Akio, Shauna. They've got one top in one attempt, so it's all to play for. It's coming down to the final boulder. It's going to be Yanya's to lose at this stage in the competition. Yanya is one boulder ahead of the rest with her still to come down in fifth, coming out in fifth position, second from the semi-final. So Shauna, if she wants to win, she's going to have to get this done within four attempts and hope that Yanya doesn't do it. Great work straight away from Shauna Coxie there. Saw Alex Pucho drop that move a few times and the tension through the feet. This is good work from Shauna Coxie. Look at the big cross through, tucks under her own arm. Great flexibility through the wrist, but goes for another look. This is what we saw Alex doing, matching up here. It's a real fight from Shauna Coxie. She needs this if she wants to get herself into a higher position. She's already in third. Can she make it silver or bronze here in Munich? Finish her incredible 2017 in style. Hits the bonus nicely, locks it in. That's where we saw Puccio jumping up. This is a superb burn here from Shauna Coxie. She's on for the flash as it stands. Speaking of flash, night time is falling here in Munich. The cameras of the photographers beginning to flash. The drama increasing here in Munich. As Shauna Coxie heads out right, that hold looked a long way away, but she got there. She's now got the top, left hand, right hand. Another, Job done for Shauna. Another impressive play. Nothing more she can do, her competition's over. She sits and waits and watches. Anna Storr said it, she said, can we see a famous Shauna Coxie clash? And she does it, just that. Two tops in two attempts for Shauna Coxie.